One of my favourite things to do with my mum is to have a cup of tea. So this Mother's Day, I thought I'd make her a special dessert, a classic creme brulee, and infuse it with her favourite flavoured tea. And to make it just a little bit special, I've bought a cup and saucer that I've hand painted myself. Mum always loves handmade things. And I'm going to make the creme brulee in the teacup. A creme brulee is a really simple dessert. It's essentially a baked custard and you don't need very many ingredients at all. So I've got my babushka doll measuring cup and I'm going to put into a pot two cups of cream. My mum's favourite tea is green tea. So I've chosen a special tea which has green jasmine leaves, rose petals and dried fruit. So it will give the creme brulee a really different flavour. I've got about half a cup of tea leaves. Pop that in with the cream. And I'm also just going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. Again, just to give it a little bit more flavour. So now that's ready to go on the stove and I'm going to slowly bring that up to the boil and let the tea flavours infuse into the cream. The best thing about this recipe is that you can be really creative and you can use your own favourite tea. Chai would be perfect or you could even use Earl Grey. Smells good. Now the next thing we need is eight egg yolks. And I'm just going to simply separate the eggs and the whites. So my oven is being preheated to 150 degrees. My tea has been infusing for about 15 minutes. So now it's time to whisk up some sugar and egg yolks until the egg yolks become pale and thick and fluffy. You can do this on an electric mixer, but I like to get a workout while I'm cooking. I've got my cream mixture, I've got my egg yolks, and I'm going to add the cream into the egg yolks and whisk constantly so that I don't curdle and end up with scrambled eggs. And we're going to thicken this up by putting it back on a low heat until it's nice and thick. I find using a rubber spatula is really good for this job because it gets all around the pot. You want to make sure that you're not getting any lumps in this mixture and the egg yolk isn't curdling at all. So what we're hoping to achieve is just a thicker custard, a creme anglaise if you will. After about five minutes of stirring it should be ready but to test it you can get a silver spoon or you can use a wooden spoon. On the back of it make a line and then if the line stays there then it's ready. Drain that off. You need to put the cup into a bain-marie. So I'm using a cake dish, but you can use a baking dish or whatever you have. I'm just gonna pour the custard mixture almost all the way to the top. Pour the water about two thirds of the way up the cup. Now that's ready to be popped in the oven. So I'm just gonna see if it's ready. The ultimate test is to see if it still wobbles. That looks perfect. All right. This has been cooling in the fridge for a few hours now, so it's nice and chilled and ready to be served. But this is the fun part. We get to use the blowtorch and sugar. Kids, don't try this without a parent, but just lightly using the blowtorch on the sugar. So that looks just about ready. It's really nice and glossy. And if I leave it to sit for just a few minutes, it will become really toffee-like and like glass. So here you go, Mum. Happy Mother's Day. Here's your green tea creme brulee with a hand-painted saucer and cup to go with it.